some of the other uh, barriers to clinical trials. The nurses and the uh, other staff in the cancer center aren't aware of the clinical trials. That, you know, when a patient goes through the clinic, they talk to more than just the provider. They talk to the treatment nurses. They talk to the intake people. They talk to the MAs. They talk to the scheduling people. And there was a study that was done a few years ago in looking at patients who were given consent forms and declined clinical trials. And they found that a lot of patients that declined clinical trials were because they said that, well, their doctor didn't want them on the trial. And when they looked further into that, they saw that, well, the doctor offered them a clinical trial, but when they discussed the clinical trial with a nurse practitioner, when they discussed that trial with a, a treatment nurse, or the MA or the or any of the other staff, when they didn't know about the clinical trial, that was considered, you know, well, if you don't know about the clinical trial, it must not be good for me. And then they withdrew from the trial. They really shouldn't be left in the provider compartment. That excitement should be clinic-wide. And when you have that all-in approach where everybody's involved, everyone's excited about clinical trials, it produces a culture of clinical trials that everybody wants to be part of, and the patients then can jump on that that bus and feel comfortable, you know, being, you know, participating in the trial. Mm -hmm.